morning. Hi, welcome in. <clears throat> come, come in. Come into my humble abode. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies are ravaging my ass. Spent all day outside yesterday, uh, continuing the project of rebuilding a landscaping wall that was originally built in the 50s that had collapsed. I got the, the battle scars to prove it. Actually, that wasn't even from working on the wall. That was, uh... <clears throat> that was from falling over backwards, because I've never seen this before in my goddamn life, but there were two big-ass bumblebees, and I don't know if they were mating in midair or if they were fighting. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. It might have been mating, I don't know. I don't know how bees do the jam. I always assumed it was just within the hive. But they, like... Imagine the sound of two big-ass bumblebees buzzing as they come at your face. So my pro move was to fall backwards, and I fell into a pile of rocks. <clears throat> Joke's on you for formally inviting me in. Now I have access 24-7. I already thought you did. Joke's on you. Haha. -ha. Well, welcome the hell on in. We got, we got quite the crew showing up right away. We got the Septi, Lexi, Luminous, Inverted. Welcome the hell on in. Good morning. I hate it when bees are banging and they come right at my face. Agreed. Agreed. Fall into a pile of rocks like a boss, hey Mo2. Ice Ice to see you. Cheers. Cheers, Lexi. Yeah. Everybody gets bees. So today, um today starts the Castlevania Bloodlines Maiden Voyage. I've never played this game in my life. <clears throat> I've spent most of uh the past couple minutes, uh, just watching the intro video play over and over again. To the living room we had. It looks pretty interesting. I love the Sega sound chip. So apparently I am a, a descendant of Quincy Morris. John Morris or his friend, uh, Wiggles. I forgot the friend's name already. Picard? I don't remember. <clears throat> but there's some, like, anime chick that's here trying to revive Dracula, and we need to stop her in the minions. Eric Lacard, there we go. Lacardi. Lacardi B. See what I did there? Bad joke. If you laughed at it, you're a fool. <clears throat> Absolute fool. Yeah, so we're the, we can be one of these two, these two guys. Yo, chill, welcome the hell on in. Thank you for the good luck. <clears throat> so, um, usually I don't care if people throw out uh, hints and tips and whatever, because usually we're playing a game we've played before, but since this is a true maiden voyage, uh, I will ask for no hints, tips, spoilers, or backseating. You can see the fancy, oh, it's over there. The fancy flasher up over there. If the rules are broken, I will have a temper tantrum. Promise. Look at that beefcake. Look at the shoulders on this motherfucker. He's like all upper body. He's got those little legs. Snape kills Dumbler. God damn it, inverted. I said no spoilers whatsoever. God damn it! The stream is ruined. <laughs> Yo, Motu, thank you for uh, continuing that gift sub for next two. I don't know why nothing popped, but thank you. Spoilers: Dracula is back. God damn it! It'll pop tomorrow. Got it. I don't know how- I, I don't really know how anything works. Oh, okay, so we got... Do we have a timer? No. God bless. No timer. So we can whip... At angles? But only when we're in the air. Interesting. Spoilers for a different game. They turned Eric into a ten-year-old for the CV fighting game. Beautiful. Oh, I can whip down, though, from the air. If I'm on the ground, it's left and right. Left and right only. In the air, I can go up. In the air, I can go down, apparently. Okay. That bird just pieced the fuck out. I'm collecting gems. OK, 
Okay, this must be for some... Oh my god. Okay, once you've committed to jumping up, you can't change direction midair. That's that's like real life jumping. I don't I don't like that. If you're holding over and you jump, you can jump forward. Oh, that's gonna fuck me up, hundred <laughs> percent. It's a fun game as long as you have a GameCube controller. Noted. So far, I like what's happening. Oh, cool. Uh, the whip on the backside apparently can do a little bit of damage. Okay. There's gems down here. Can I mount the step? Yes! Okay, I can mount the steps mid-jump. Good, 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 good. You dislike the character design? Oh, look at that big axe. That's ridiculous. In this game, Decepti? <laughs> I'm okay with it so far. I mean, I just love how this guy is like 80% upper body. It's the way I like a I like my beefcakes. A book? What does that mean? Oh, I, I, there's a lot of charm here. I like it. I mean, you're comparing, you know, if you compare it to, uh, say, uh, oh wow, the range on that motherfucker. Okay, these guys are badass. These guys are nothing but trouble. Can I duck? Yeah, I can duck. Okay. Wow, I'm just getting my ass handed to me by everything in here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this so far play play by play feels just like the uh, intro in CV1 for the most part. A little bit of a learning curve here, but we're learning it. Come here. Come here, you bitch. I just got 50 out of 50 something. I don't know. I can see. You guys can't see it. What? Laser whip? Holy shit! Why- why is this... What- what the f- What the fuck sub-weapon- what, what? Oh, the laser whip, it's like temp. Okay. Temporary. There's actually a few times I think the graphics are better in this than CV4. Nice. I, I could see what the potential there. Let's put Simon Belmont in bondage gear, but like the least sexy bondage gear ever. Judgment, probably. <laughs> oh, there's another game I've never played. I would like some... Oh, wait, no, I like my holy water. I want to wake these boys up and come back down here. Oh, I can't, I can't, oh, I'm out of Gemeralds! Yikes. Looks like that wall might break over there. Give me some meat. I can't believe they had me fight a mini boss and didn't even give me anything. Why didn't they give me the, the end of, the end of stage crystal? Like, I feel like I earned it. So the heart system has been turned off. We're now officially all about getting crystals. Crystals are the way forward. Look at this bone tower. Jeez Louise. 
Oh, they give you a lot of chances to pick up those items. They, they flicker forever. Holy hell. Okay, there's no way that doesn't hurt me. Yes? No? Okay, it's just a background graphic. Okay. I thought I was for sure fucked. Oh my god, the level goes vertical! Oh! What is this, the future? Get wrecked, son. I <laughs> knocked your sword out your hand, you son bitch. Get out of here. Cool, because up looked scary. I don't know that I wanted the boomerang, but we got it. Uh, oh! Too scary. I'm sure those are instant death spikes. Now I got the axe again. I guess I want that. I don't know. I kind of want to know how I get up there to get that, but uh, th that moment's done. That's gonna hurt for sure. Ha <laughs> ha you dumbass! Get the fuck out of here, sir. The hitbox on the candles is huge, which I appreciate. I, I always said I like a good hitbox. A nice big hitbox. We've got full meat. We're full of meat. We're absolutely chock full of meat. Oh, the birds are just there to run. Oh, fuck. Run, son. Run. Yeah, that candle was definitely a trap. He wasn't even walking on top of the steps. Yo, we got laser whip. Let's go. Give me something to fight. I got laser whip. Yo, someone tell me, do you get multipliers in this game? I need a Castlevania scientist. I feel I feel like there's no multipliers in this jam. Survey says no. You mainly get upgrades. I gotta figure out what those even look like. We're achieving wildly, apparently. Look at that complex ass code! Level two code. It's too complicated. Too hard. Tiers of special weapons. Do you have to just keep repeatedly collecting the same uh, sub weapon? Last time I did not keep. Okay, now I have a crystal. Yo, that thing's righteous. I lost it though, because I picked up something else. I'm gonna be honest, the reflection at the bottom's uh, cool, but totally fucking with my mind. Yo, Fang. Can't wait to time out Moon. Oh, good luck, I guess. Yeah, mm, whatever. Oh, is the water coming up at us? Great. Great, we're gonna drown here. Oh, I lost my magic. I lost my magic whip because I got. I took a damage. Is the water rising or are we sinking? I think we're sinking. Very slowly. It's a very controlled sink. Get fucked, sir. We'll, we'll try this way. Hopefully it's a right answer. Nope, it was a wrong answer.
Okay. They have traps? That's good. Well, wherever the ball is, is gonna be the way I gotta go? No? Okay. Oh, could we stop sinking? Thank God. <clears throat> you can tie me out in his place if you're really desperate. And he likes, he likes the, the delayed gratification. That's good. Cool. What are we, what are we, oh, the water's rising again? This is his special power. His special power is drown me. To which I say, no, thank you, sir. Asphyxiate yourself, bitch. Oh, now the crows have turned on me. Okay, good. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Ooh, yikes. Oh, he's too big. He doesn't have the, he doesn't have close reach. He's a bitch. Oh, now he's got the close reach. Oops. Don't get hit, sir. Can that be it? Cool. Oh, I don't even get an orb? God damn. No orb. So far, this game's kind of fucking rude with the lack of orb. What the shit is happening now? Oh, the, 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 the level's rising again. All right, we get Dusa heads. Great. <laughs> that was that was too much that was too much moisture. Too moist. Too moist. Too moist for the hero. He's okay with some moisture, but not too much moisture. Gotta be careful. Can't be having too much moisture. Belmont's never learned how to swim! Uh, I bet that was a cool... I bet there was something cool in that candle. That's fine. We'll never know now. Cool. Yo, Boogan. No, his little legs can't kick enough. He got baby legs. Back up, sir. <laughs> Get drowned, sucker. Off with her head. Why is that an achievement? Why is that an achievement? <laughs> Seems like you have to do that. <laughs> what do I have against candles anyway? They're too illuminating. Darkness only, please. Listen to the sound effects. They're working OT on this game. Okay. Big candles are items. Wow, rigged. That didn't feel very good. That's the classic Belmont knockback. Oh, there. 
that guy just he doesn't want to fight no matter what. Well, there's like a usually a sweet spot for distance between how long you can how quickly you can whip versus getting uh, too close to the bone pillars. So you never want to get and that's pretty consistent across like all Castlevania. You never want to get too close to the bone pillars. You gotta be like just far enough away so you can hit the fireballs. Get wrecked, sir. This is a one hell of a whip. I'm bringing down the whole architecture with it. That's how you know you got yourself a really good whip. No, and I got boomerang. Yo, Jimmy Boo. I don't know that there's bidet fish here. We can only hope. Oh God, didn't feel like I was gonna make that jump. Oh! I used all my crystals. Now, now it's getting harder for the wrong reasons. <gasps> Whoa! No, no, no. I don't want to go down there, like, ever. I'm sure there's some... Oh, do I have to go down there? These motherfuckers. Okay. They're not too tough. Haha! <laughs> I am the victor! I wouldn't mind a good bidet fish right about now. Give me a little cleansing spritz. Look at that cool boat in the background. Background, background, uh, backgrounds are pretty, pretty, uh, on fire in this game. Is this water going all the way down? Or is this gonna be some bullshit? Oh my god. I'm trying to, like, destroy its midriff here. Oh no, I'm out of crystals. So this guy has got this crazy powerful punch and his power move is to just knock shit off the ceiling. Oh, don't touch his foot. Don't touch his foot, dude. This jump angle whip, I'm not a fan of. I don't love it. Oh, we need to try that one again. <clears throat> Made out of tires. Yo, Moon, how you doing, baby? You can time out Moon now. Excuse me the fuck? Excuse the fuck out of me? You're only a couple of stages in and Fang was already talking about timing you out. That's right. I was here for it. He was excited for it. I've never seen anyone be so excited to time someone out before in my entire life. Yep, come over here. Since you give me just enough axes to deal with this. Yeah, that's definitely the right weapon. Man, I need more crystal. Three crystals, that's it. Alright, so this guy is like the Michelin Man, made out of tires. We're gonna knock the tires loose. Maybe. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, oh, bonus, bonus chunks. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get too close. Okay. My cousin used to call this boss Crunch Berries. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That works. Built like racing sausage at the Brewers games. A hundred percent built like the fucking racing sausages. <laughs> As a son of Milwaukee, I verify this to be true. All wobbly and top heavy. If you've never seen the racing sausages before, you're missing out in life. You can just go find a video. Like, don't actually take the time to go see them live. It's not worth it, but... The Leaning Tower of Pisa! Some shit going down in Italy. Fucking harpies. She's a-whistling at to me! <laughs> Wisconsin gross, Wisconsin after 25 years. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh, whoa, no, thank you. Bro's kind of coming at me with a whole ass column. I don't- I do not like those- those Minotaur dudes. The game likes them, though. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we're gonna die. We're definitely gonna get our asses beat here. This game's not not this game's kind of stingy on the goddamn crystals. Uh, yeah. what is that? What, what is it? One large dookie soup. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, my kids are playing a joke on me. So this is how it ends. Jesus Christ, give me some goddamn wall meat. No candle meat? Oh no. Once scrolled, you're scrolled. Just go. Just go. Fuck this whole ass area. No, just go. Just fucking go. What am I in the future? Angled floors? Am I inside the leaning tower of pizza? Oh, you bitches. Alright, so if we learned anything, it's just fucking go. Just waddle your ass up them goddamn steps, thick boy. Go, beefcake, go. Oh, you can't proceed unless you're on the ground. Achievement unlocked. Blood rain. I don't even know what that means. I've had enough here. Can I leave and come back? I can! Hello! Farming anyone? I only know I can do that because I saw it in the fucking, uh... Intro video. Oh 
Oh man, the Lean and Tower of Pisa is looking real satanic up in here. No? No? Okay. I guess I just gotta be patient. Oh, this is an actual boss. This is an actual boss. An actual health gauge and shit. Well then. Look at how spicy that was. What the shit's going on now? The tower's collapsing? Is, is this what this is supposed to be? We're ruining one an, an amazing piece of human history because of Dracula? Does he not care about the No, he doesn't care about the humans. I want that candle. That one looks special. An axe? Nice whipping, sir. Good. Good. Very mini boss heavy, yeah. Yeah, we feeling that for sure. Have a boomerang. And then in a moment, have an axe. I got this little baby stumpy. Little baby stumpy whip. There we go. Full whip. The floor is the floor, but not really the floor because gems don't stick to it. That's good to know. No, oh, fuck that candle. We're going. Up. We're going up here. I wanted additional axe. I didn't want that gem. What? Oh, was there a door to my left? I couldn't tell. The mode 7. The mode 7 was breaking my brain. The whole building was rippling like a bitch. Ruining a pizza history. <laughs> no, I don't want to be all the way up here, goddammit. The Medusa heads are just like, climb faster, bitch. And I'm like, no, I want to slow my roll, please. Did Sega call it mode, mode seven or is this blast processing? What are we seeing here? Are we blast processing right now? You son of a bitch! I got rigged. I got I got robbed. I got robbed. That was rigged. Ribbity rob. Rig. Game over. Like game over. Game. Oh my god. We're running. Shine continues. I like that. Despite everything the game's thrown at me so far, this is this is what's gonna break me. Holy water or axe? I choose axe. Oh, is the pro tip just to wait for the Medusa head to start coming and then go up a platform? Is that like all there's gotta be to this? So double, getting two axes doesn't do anything. Just keep going up, man. <laughs> I was supposed to walk to the left. I <laughs> got your foot. Okay, sure. Oh, this guy. Th I just can't get this guy. That's good. That's good. No cool secrets? Oh, 
Ooh, there's a, there's something over here. Inconceivable! Okay, I can I can still like fall down. Apparently. Get out of here, bad. Fuck you. What's this? Another axe! I don't like usually in Castlevania games they usually give you the most advantageous weapon for a moment. I don't even know what the fuck they're doing anymore with these weapons. Oh Christ! Oh, <laughs> I thought a wall was coming up on me. No, that's just a background item. Okay, that's that's definitely tripping me up in this game. What's background? What's foreground? I don't fucking know. What is this shit? This dude's got some serious jump for having such teeny legs. Yo, no, 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 that's fine. Oh, when I get holy water, that sucks. Kill you off screen, bitch. This is kind of cool. This whole background effect thing going on. We are we are fucking blast processing right now, my friends. I would like a meat, please. One large meat, please. No? Okay. Oh, cool. When did I get magic axe? Oh, I jumped off the, the top of the tower. Cool. That's neat. You can't hurt him right there. Okay, noted. He's got to finish doing his little... Bitch dance. Oh, the tail doesn't hurt you. Okay. I, I was scared to jump at the tail before. Okay. Everything hurts. Never mind. I was wrong. Don't jump off the tower again, though, dude. Oh my god. No! You got a whip! Oh, I got the stumpy whip. What? I disagree. I wholeheartedly disagree. I, I know his game now, though. Can I go back? No. Not 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 this time. The other time it was okay to go back, but not this time. I would very much like to go back. Moon is like some children in time out. Wow. I feel kind of bad for Moon. You glorious fuck. Yeah, he got you good. Just the way you like it. Papa knows. Don't knock me off the tower, please. Got him. I left my desk. I will time you out faster next time. Wow. That's how he likes it. That's how he likes it. 
And I'm sure there's an achievement for doing that damage list. We'll never see that. Nice. I guess I should take a picture of my code. You missed the screamy wyvern. Well, that's what you get for having uh, a full-time job. I don't know what you want from me. Munitions factory in Germany. Oh, man. You got background skeletons fucking with me? Now they've become in foreground skeletons. Perfect. Is there something cool up here? Is there a reason to be up here? No. Oh, whatever. Hmm, you know what I never thought about for this? Is should I try to, should I be trying to 1cc clear it? Or do I just, I feel like if I password it, I'll just beat it in a single day. Maybe I should try to 1cc it. Like a real man! Whip out my big gaming peepee -pee and 1cc it. Oh, they just keep coming. I go up there for the lulls. Oh yeah? So that's a funny spot, hey? Good. Noted. I went to the I went to the joke platform. I mean, this is really a comedy stream first, actual gaming second. So I think we did it correctly. That feels like a trap. What's going on down here? Oh, look at look at Chuckles over here. I got a big, I got a big ball. Get fucked, sir. My internet penis is zero. <laughs> Wow! Wee! The game's saying you will not be going backwards. This looks like a job for Little Mouth. <laughs> Laser whip! Power up! Oh, look at that big piston, just pumping. Oh, you can die there. Yep, makes sense. That makes absolute sense. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out my big gamer PP and we'll one C, we'll learn how to one CC it. We're gonna go for the high score, goddammit. Lost my laser whip. I'll... No, don't go up there again. It's a trap, you some bitch. Get pistoned, you fuck. Fucking clock tower. Wow. Oh, this guy's just gonna walk on me. Oh, he, he stays dead. Good, 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 good. Yo, Luminous. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your day. So, there are no, like... I guess I shouldn't say there are no. It seems like... And obviously no one can even tell me, but... What I'm observing is it seems like... Uh, the breakable walls are clearly breakable. There aren't, like, secret breakable walls. Because I've been testing now and again. I've been testing. What a shit show coming back to work after being off last week. Oh, dude. I almost never took vacation for that exact fucking reason. Which isn't a healthy way to live one's life at all. But, like... Coming back was always such a nightmare. <laughs> I 
I'm never gonna make this jump. Good thing there's no timer. There we go. This is a trap, it feels like, for an axe. Do I even care? If I'm gonna be stressed out, at least use my PTO, yeah. Yeah, like, I just... I just always remember coming back angry. Because there would always be so much to catch up on. And then everyone would be, like, hot on your ass to make sure that, like, you were, like, achieving as much as possible, as quickly as possible. I don't even want these candles, I don't even care. This whole shit, this whole ass shit is rigged over here. No, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, neat. That's kind of cool. <gasps> Frankie! Oh, he's got a whip now, too? Oh, okay. I see what you're up to, bro. Okay, don't get too close when he, okay. I see your moves. I see your moves, but I let you beat me anyway. <clears throat> Game over! We going back? End! End! Sega! Come on, John, let's go for another adventure! Boo, boo. Ruins of Castle Dracul. Always weird shit going down in Eastern Europe. Always weird shit going down in Eastern Europe. John Morris can come and wreck shit for you. He would love to. He would absolutely love to. I'd love to come and wreck shit for you, man. Just point me in the direction of, uh, the nearest, uh, document I can trash. Wow, dead person right there. Or dead monster, I don't know. There's a, some achievement for killing, killing shit in here. I got a little counter that's counting up to 50 in the bottom corner. I don't know what that's all about. I'm at 8, 9, 10, 11. I, I just I don't know what's going on here. You know what? That inv invisibility sphere? I saw one of those. And it's here. If there's another one, I have never seen it. We've already gone several levels into the game, only having seen the one. And I got a book. So that's how you clear through that that hell hell hole right there. Okay. I can technically loop it, I guess. I could probably go back around if I really wanted to. Ooh, the devil was on them doors. I know Satan when I see him. Oh, don't touch me. Yeah, and then I, I always remember being on vacation and never really being able to enjoy it. Just being stressed the whole goddamn time. Just knowing, just knowing what shit show awaited my return. Eh, yeah, turn into meat, you son of a bitch.
As much as this whole unemployment thing sucks, I don't miss those feelings, tell you that much. Tell you what? Mmm, full of meat. Yeah, so I think most of you saw, but like, yeah, I, I didn't get that that uh, design agency job I thought I was gonna get. So I took the weekend to be absolute sad sack about that, but now I'm now I'm over it. Now we just now we just back to where we was. I did completely uh, put a bunch of tough break. Eh, oh, whatever. It is what it is. It, it's just it's a hundred percent par for the course at this point. I just kind of don't care. Um, I'm uh, I totally like uh, updated my personal website. Uh, I canceled my old domain. Got a new domain. So like vonnyg.com is live, which is kind of cool. She's alive and a kicking. And then I got my bread website mostly up to speed. I just have to work on perfecting one more one more bread recipe. And then uh Oh, they jumped out of the way. And then I'm gonna start sharing it with some of my existing customer base. As much as I'm hating it here at the moment, it's the devil, you know, versus job hunting. That's right. Yep. Hey, that's really why I stayed where I did as long as I did. Because it was kind of like... It's like any company that was going to pay me as much as my last company was. It was going to be all the same bullshit. I knew that for sure. So, you know, it's kind of, kind of whatever. I know whatever. I haven't really been using the down whip at all. Oh, I got rid of my crystal for this shit. Yeah, I really like that too. It got me pumped. You know, knowing what it is, it's just like, oh shit, shit's about to go down. He finally hit me! The way the first time through this stage went, I thought for sure, I'm like, oh, there's no way you can even get me. Apparently I found the safe spot. I guess I just got lucky. I got RNG lucky. Yeah. And it turns out to be this doofy fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Achievement of beating level one. Now we journey to Atlantis Shrine in Greece. I hope when that happens, easy baby game. And in reality, you got lucky and can never replicate. Yo, yep. That's the maiden voyage. All right, we're coming up on an ad break. We're gonna burb. We're gonna burbles. I'm gonna take the ad break. Three minutes. Three minutes, gang. Be right back.
Welcome back, and now for the ad break recap. <clears throat> Moons in timeout like a mischievous child. Well, Fangs plays moderate moderator. Well, Fang plays moderator with a swift desk exit threat. Decepti missed the wyvern screams, but roared with laughter over their xenomorph internet prowess. Wow. <laughs> Office biohazards and Chana Masala aftermaths are real struggles for Chitty. Motu's back to work blues are real, but John Morris is here to save the day. How oh, is he now? Bold and presumptuous. Bold and presumptuous, Frosty. Will John Morris save our day? We can only hope. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good start right there. Save me, John Morris. You're my only hope. I bet I could have whipped his ass standing right on the platform where I was at. Yeah, I didn't even need to cross over. I was just stupid. Should just reset. Bye. Bye, bitch. Oh, he had a katana? What the fuck? Cutlass? This shit's getting real. Cool. Wow, I thought for sure I was gonna die there. 100% thought I was gonna die there. Okay, so there's definitely some traps in this bitch. Last time we went that way, got played. Got played for a fool. Got you in the ankle, baby. Oh, no! Don't touch! Kind of a boss, but kind of not really a boss. Eh, kind of a boss, kind of not really a boss. Oh, so he's the dude that was filling the whole level with water this whole time. I see how it is. So need to beat this with the card on the anniversary collection. Complete the trophy set. Nice. I should mess around with this on, on that collection, too. I debated playing it on there. To start with. But then just... Jumped in on retro, uh, retro arc like I normally do. I <laughs> like how he gets stuck. Definite power move. Get wrecked, you shooter, stinky armor. Do, 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 born should just take a death here. I'm sure a Medusa head will make sure that happens for me. Laser! No! I hit all my candles way too early! There's a fine line between when it's... Bullshit. When it's too soon to go in the water and... Too, or, uh, too late. Or, or just totally fine. I should say. Oh, 
That was too soon. Man, you get hurt bad. Damn. Drowning is painful. Okay, cool. God damn it, dude. Itchy, welcome to Helena and more Castlevania. That's right, sweetie. That's why I treat them. CV for life. I'm probably just gonna stop playing everything else and become a full-time Castlevania streamer. Only do challenge runs, speed runs of Castlevania, just become a total Castlevania whore. I'm only half kidding. I'm only half kidding. At this point, at this, at this point, it's gonna come down to whatever. Oh, we already got a game over. God damn it! Whatever I can enjoy playing, uh, while keeping folks entertained and wanting to hang out. Cause I'm gonna become a total view whore. How shall I dance for you, Poppy? Are you not entertained? I mean, people are kind of entertained. They could be more entertained, I think. Just too far away. Bone tower? God damn! Oh, I, I could just jump down and hit that guy. That would have been fine. Gotta hit him right in the crash. No matter what happens in life, always target the taint. When, when people say things like, take life by the balls, just take it by the taint. That's the real power move. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Just grapple that taint. Slam it on the ground. I wouldn't steer you around. Come back! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Boomerang is the right choice. Don't go in the water too early or you'll drown because you can't hold your breath because you're a goddamn descendant of the Belmonts and they never learned how to hold their breath on water. Oh, threaded the needle there. Holy shit. Don't jump into him, sir. It ain't gotta be like this. Just don't jump into him. There we go. First try, every try. Is that it? Is this, is this the end? Yeah, th this guy's the end of the level. Get orbed! Get orbed, Morris! John Morris, this beefcake 
of a vampire slayer with his suspenders and his hot jeans and his sweet fucking headband. God damn. I have a new life goal. I want to be just like John fucking Mars. Do the leading tower of a pizza. Andare in Italia. Oh, you harpy bastard. Woo! 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 <laughs> what a non threatening enemy sound. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Doing your best flare. <laughs> That's not my best. It's off flare. That's not my best. <laughs> oh, now that's how you boomerang. So there is no cross in this game, but the boomerang, the boomerang is giving me cross vibes. Can you, can you keep the laser whip? Like indefinitely? This part, just run. Just run. Run, bro. Uh, 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 uh. No! Whatever. How did I do that? Stair walking animation was real goofy. Oh, big time goofy. Wait. Okay. That can be messed up. Quite quite heartily, that can be messed up. Oh, I see. You gotta kind of push down if you want to extend the. Okay. I see what I see what they did there. I got it. Okay. I got it now. I see what you did there. Get some tricky stuff. That's how I do the power move. You push up. <laughs> you push up when you hit the button. God damn it. It's like, well, this is a Genesis game, so there's only supposed to be three buttons. Can't be that fucking complicated. Turns out it wasn't. Turns out it wasn't. God damn it, son of a bitch. Up, sir, up. <gasps> Don't touch. I feel like the Dusa heads are even shittier in this one for some reason. Shittier than normal. I feel like they're way harder to hit. 
And no, sir, I don't like it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta learn the timing of that. That, that, that could have been better. Right in your face. You can whip, but I whip better. Oh, I like that a lot. That's fancy cooking right there. Are you are you horsing around, Itchy? So it seems like everybody here has played this game but me. That's kind of the vibe I was getting from most people's messages. I'm like way late to the party in this game. I was never a Genesis kid though. We got a Genesis, but like way later on. Whoa, these dudes dropping gems. Look at how he jumps with his legs together like that. Like he's really concentrating. It looks like he's looking at his feet while he jumps. Can't mess this jump up. Everything counts on this jump. Gotta jump right. Your favorite non-Metroidvania CV. Damn. That's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. Wow. Wow! Wow. Most classic CV games are on Nintendo consoles. It's true. It's true. It's absolutely true. I love I love Castlevania games. This shit's good. I was only half kidding when I said I'm just gonna stream these games from now on. I'm not kidding. I should start doing some uh, low-key uh, speed runs of uh, Super Castlevania. The Rondo is the bee's knees. I still have to play that one too. Everyone, everyone says such wonderful things about Rondo. Can I even call myself a CV player if I don't play Rondo? The memorial this weekend? No, tell me about it. Unless someone pays me lots of money to complain about Castlevania. That'll never be me, cause I'm a broke bitch. But you, if I win the lottery, I'm gonna, I will pay you to be a, I will hire you to be a full-time Castlevania streamer. With life insurance, 401k match, the whole the whole nine yards. Just so you have to do it. It'll be such a good deal, you won't be able to refuse. That's what I'm gonna do to you. What did I, f oh my god. Yikes. I know you would do it, that's that's why, like, just you wait. Just you wait. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy a Powerball ticket tonight. And every other night going forward. Okay, this isn't even actually like a hard part, but I'm getting, absolutely rocked by it. I should be using my sub weapons more just to do uh, crowd control. One of the world record holders passed away at the end of April. No shit. So they had races where people were racing against their PBs in a few CV games. It was nice. That does sound really nice. What a nice memorial. That is awesome. Yo, thanks for sharing that, Chill. Ah, that's such a bummer. Such a bummer whenever you lose a legend. I don't think anyone appreciates how unhinged my hatred for these games is. I appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciate it. Don't understand it, but I appreciate it. You can appreciate a thing you don't understand. Anyone appreciates your hatred any game. <laughs> if there's one thing you do well, it's dislike a game that you dislike. And I continue to appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. As long as they keep dropping me some gems, we can- Oh, okay. The gem was dropped. Went the wrong fucking way, but whatever. Survive! Survive, bitch! 
Just survive! No, my gem! He's throwing axes at me. Oh, my gem! No, just go! Just go! Just go! To put it into perspective... I like Elden Ring and MMX3 more than Castle. <laughs> that 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 is some right true perspective <laughs> right there. <laughs> Dude knows what he likes. Got to respect that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh man, can I pull this out? It's good to have your convictions. No! How dare you, sir! Oh, when you love a game, though. That's right, you got a lot to give in that case. Oh, and I got the stumpy whip. I got baby, I got babe, the baby peen. No. Do I just focus on dodging here? Take a few hits, focus on the dodge? Seems like that might be the better move. Instead of trying to speed run this shit? I see, I'm always trying to go fast. That's my problem. It's just like, survive, bro. Focus on survival. Survival first, speed second. You ain't that good yet, dude. You got a ways to go. Oh, in my opinion, fuck you only love. Yeah, I've seen I've seen you when you love a game. And I've seen you when you hate a game. Only speed run. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Tread lightly. Wow. <clears throat> you guys should fight about it. The munitions factory in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how different it is playing with uh, the uh, the uh, John Morris's friend, Eric Licardi B. Itchy, you should fight him. You should fight him. And call him a bitch right to his face. See, we're already speed running. We're skipping shit we don't need to be doing. Look at, we'll skip this shit. Look at, we're going faster now. He has a spear instead of a whip. That is very, that is quite different. That is literally about as different as it gets. Different enough to be fun. That's what I like to hear. Look at Mr. 100% in chat here. I don't like the 100% things. I find it to be a little bit too flashy. I feel like 90% is more my speed. Ooh, that money bag's really gonna help us out later on, I'm sure. I really like that the uh, candles with the weapon pickups are obviously a very different candle. 
genuinely appreciate that. Fucking screen clear. Jesus Christ. That really uses the, the old gems up, though. No! You took my laser whip, you deuce ahead, some bitch. Look at all this precise German engineering. <laughs> I remember getting really frustrated in the final Colossus back in the day. I love that game. I think that game is great. And I had rented it, but never beat it because I, d I wasn't able to clear it in a single weekend or whatever. <laughs> That's a fucking good game. Shadow of the Colossus. God damn. There was just nothing else like it. All the climbing and shit. Like, Breath of the Wild basically ripped off Shadow of the Colossus. Fight me. I'm right. Wait, is this where we game- game over last time? Are we already making progress? Okay, just don't get too close when he does that shit. to go back and still do Shadow on PS3, PS4. Play the fuck out of it on PS2. Okay, so it is just a port. Okay. That would be a fun stream game someday. That'd be a fun stream game when I'm done being a Castlevania streamer. And also a Mega Man 2 streamer. Because that's what's coming up tomorrow night. Oh, that hurts. What? Sometimes background, sometimes foreground. PS4 is a complete remake. That's cool. Oh, we're already done. Okay, good. Well, we made it a little bit further. That's great. Your project only goes up to PS3. Well, there you go. Decision made for you. Chill. Decision made for you. Born December 12th in Texas, United States. He's built like a big old Texas boy. I don't think I can emulate PS2 on here. Maybe I can. Never tried it. Well, if your memory's shit, welcome to the club, because my memory's absolute shit. One of us. Okay, this is this is kill. I gotta see what this achievement is. Why in the world does it keep showing me this? What 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 is the goal here? Just hold on a sec. Make a bloody mess, slaying fifty zombies. Oh, you're just supposed to kill fifty zombies. Stage one: find a way to completely skip the merman room. Stage one, dangling corpse. Knock that guy around. Oh, interesting. There's a bunch of free Chivos here. It's like Demon's Soul <clears throat> PS3 to PS5. So functionally a lot, it's the same, but the sound and graphical design make it more engaging. Oh, nice. Subtle mechanical differences. What a stupid achievement. Like, it's kind of neat, but it's also pretty... Like, this is pretty stupid. I like how I like how those zombies... Those zombies got some swagger in their walk. Oh, I forgot to put... There we go. Thank you. 
Try to speedrun tech, got launched to my death, figured out quickly it's different enough. Okay, so there was significant enough change to the mechanics. Would you even say that some of the physics changed then, too? As stupid as Survivor Robot Master for 10 minutes? Yeah. It's just like, sure, but like... <laughs> Wee! We got it! We got it, gang! We got the achievement! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the physics are different too. That's interesting. Is there anything cool over here? No. <laughs> Pop! <laughs> I hate this shit, especially since surviving someone like Galaxy Man is baby game. Yeah, it, it's 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 like ultimately just like okay, great. Got the achievement. So this is gonna be to skip the merman room is gonna be just. Oh, I already fucked it up. It's just gonna be taking knockback from this guy. Somehow. Wait. Actually, no, when you're in the air. Oh, man. I have to learn a lot more to understand how that's supposed to work. Wait a tick. Oh, you can, like, swing from fucking everything? No shit. I want to swing through the wall. Let me swing through the goddamn wall. Can I get back up? No. I mean, yeah, challenging achievements are good. But sometimes they're just stupid, too. Did it on concrete, man? Creative ones are okay, too. Yeah, I have to see what it's like to take damage when you're jumping forward. The concrete man? Gross. Sticky. Okay, so they're like, Yo, oh, that's a trap to get you to lose this thing. And then I'm just sitting here like, why isn't there an achievement for damage list on this guy? Do I like doing Chivos? Sometimes. Murder, murdered puppy. Sometimes I like doing achievements. Sometimes I don't. Um, I've mastered a few games. Some respectable, others not. I do still want to go through and finish mastering CV4. I just haven't done the... Like, there's a couple of like damageless boss fights I have yet to do. Because I hit this one! <laughs> That's an achievement! <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Alright, so let's see. <laughs> what have I not done out of level one here? Find a way to completely skip the merman room. Oh, I might have to look that one up. In stage two, slay the water mage before the water level reaches the platform. Defeat the stage boss before the water drains? For the rock golem? What the fuck? Now there's some creative ones in here. Interesting. There's a hidden one up in stage four. There's another hidden one up in stage four. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so there are, there's some kind of cool achievements in here. There's some interesting ones in this set. I dig that. I'll show you a dangling corpse. 
don't don't make promises you can't keep, Itchy. Don't make promises you can't keep. I'm not sure if that's innuendo or not. I want to say it's innuendo. If it's innuendo, I'm all in. If it's actual murder, I'm probably less in. Come back to my desk and have no context for that. I don't want any. <laughs> I mean, if it's a reference for a peen, then maybe. I don't know. I don't usually refer to my penis as the dangling corpse, but you know, anything's possible. Well, maybe you shouldn't leave your desk and then you'd have all the context you need. What do you think of that? Just stay planted. 98% enthusiasm versus 100. <laughs> Whole new meaning to angle the dangle, that's for sure. How do you even get up there? So I can definitely swing way more places than I tried to before, that's for sure. Give me that, give me that wall meat. No, don't disappear on me, baby. So there's a full power up here. We gotta get that. Oh, it was a one up. This time it was a one up. The other time it was a full power up. I don't I don't know what's happening in this game anymore. Just get closer, you son of a bitch. Oh, I could swing across the room with that platform. Knock it off, dude. Kick this, bitch. Neat. Face tank is the best strat. Because then it's just a matter of showing up with enough health to uh, do the tanking. I like to face tank as many things in life as possible. Come to Atlantis, where the shrines are fun, and not at all weird or creepy. Yeah, so that's the pro tip there. Just don't jump into the enemy and you're gonna be fine. Wow, see? I fucked it up. Nice. That's an absolute fucking power move right there. Man, this laser whip is badass. You should be allowed to keep this for the whole goddamn game. I don't like that it times out. Yo, Ravi, welcome the hell on in. I'm learning Moonrider right now with a few bosses. The strat is just get health, then baby game. What console is Moonrider on? Please tell. Please tell me. Please tell me. <gasps> oh my god, I almost jumped right the fuck off. You do. All modern systems? I don't even know what the fuck the game is. The blazing chrome devs, it's like modern Hagane. Got it. Well then I should probably check it out because they make they make a damn fine game. 
And if you've never played Blazing Chrome, you should. Oh, shit. I never submitted our, uh, Fang, I never submitted our, uh, run. <laughs> I forgot to submit the run. I got too busy working on websites this weekend. I was working on websites and design stuff, and I completely forgot to submit our run. I can't imagine killing this dude before the water gets to the platform. You'd have to come up here fully powered. I bet the laser whip makes it possible. Hundred percent, I bet that's the case. Check this out, does awesome kickflip. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, I would, I would do a blind play. Hell yeah. Work that magic, sweetheart. Bonnie will deliver. Oh! Morning to you too, Rabbit. Ravenous Lobo. Not a slow bro, he's a Lobo. <laughs> like from Pokemon, slow bro. See what I did there? Clever. I'm using gamer words. Nope, I want that. Nope, that's too much water. That's too much water. You son of a bitch! That was too much water. Here goes all my crystals. Didn't need them anyway. It's fine. Stupid deaths abounding. Yep. Yep. Too much water is a huge problem. The water can only be so deep when you enter it. See? That was too much water. Too deep! Can't hold breath. I should probably just slow down. Since I can't seem to... Good thing I got all those one-ups just so I could spend them here. Yo! Ah! Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, boat anchor Belmont. How you doing, Jubes? Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, they can't swim, so you have to be able to... Oh, shit! I can't believe this is like, this is the run killer level. It's actually great. I'm really liking it so far. I decided I'm going to try and do a one CC clear. So I'm not using my password. I feel like if I use the passwords, like, oh my God, I did it again. Fucking did it again. Like a moth to the fucking flame I am with this water. Absolutely no ability to not drown myself. No! Too much! God damn. Getting used to these jumps is tricky. Not being able to change direction in midair, although much like real life, is definitely throwing me off. I want to play this game, but I want to play it like it's... I want to play it like it's Super Castlevania. I should just slow down. Just stand still, perhaps? 
Is that seriously just the way to, to do this? Just fucking stand still? Don't get lured in by the items? Okay, so the pro tip is stand still. Wow, that was cheap. Oh, it's a bummer that I'm using all my continues back here, though. So this is definitely a spot to get good at. My biggest struggle in this game so far is every every area with the Medusa heads. No lie. Anywhere there's Medusa heads, we're getting we're getting fucked in the ass like real raw, with no lube. A no lube ass fucking is what's happening. Yeah, I guess just wait. I guess just wait on solid ground is perhaps the, the best thing I can do. Hmm. Yeah, there's really no advantage to going down early, I guess. Yep, just wait. Okay. Can't rush it, just wait. That's that's the that's my that's my strat right now. Okay. Used an entire ass continue just to figure out that weight was the answer. That's alright. I mean kinda cruise through this part, which is kinda nice. Yep, I like that. Oh, don't get too close to this guy. This guy is extra. No! Idiot. See? You gotta slow down. Going fast is not the answer. I might reset. Because, <clears throat> sadly, we're coming up on another ad break. And I burned a lot of continues to figure out how I need to approach that next area. The previous area, I meant to say. Okay, that guy's not too bad. I did it again. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna run the ad break. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna start fresh again. Now we know. Now we have knowledge. Now we go forward with knowledge. This is a good thing.
All right. <clears throat> I think the ads are still probably going. I think they're still going. I think I'm all about time, huh? Oh, yeah, so tonight I'll definitely be back doing some more of this. Howdy, tech. How the fuck you doing, tech? Be doing some more dish. Uh, probably keep keep going on this one because, like, I think the way that I think the way this week's gonna look is I think it's gonna be uh, let's see. So Monday night, I'm gonna keep railing on this bitch. Tomorrow morning, probably back at this. I might mix in some Castlevania four like low pressure just like run a, a I gotta set up a timer again and like I want to run the timer where it's just like uh, no splits just single timer and then like see how far how quick I can get through Castlevania and just set like a benchmark for Castlevania 4 I might do that one of the streams this week but otherwise it's it's gonna be tonight probably bloodlines Tomorrow morning, probably Bloodlines. Tomorrow night, uh, Fang and I are gonna do like a Let's Learn for the Mega Man 2 speedrun. And then Wednesday morning. You got your dad's old TV in here? My dad's old TV. What you talking about, sir? Sir, what you talking about? What are you even talking about? I guess I should do the... No. No. Oh, the old big screen? That ridiculous one in the basement that he had? The big projection TV? That... that re oh, yeah, because look at all the bottom's a desk. <laughs> yeah, that's how that projection TV looked. It was like... It was so stupid. Such a stupid fucking TV. Uh, yeah, so here's the ad break uh, recap. Memory lane alert. Itchy ponders their PS2 to PS4 leap while Fang grapples with change physics in Shadow of the Colossus. Achievements buzz with spam and debate over grind versus challenge. That did happen. Meanwhile, Ravi stunts with a virtual kickflip and Fang teases a Moonrider key offer, which tantalized Neil Nips. And in the deep waters of Castlevania, Chubes jokes about Vani's drowning skills. It's sink or swim in bloodlines! Yeah, that TV was so fucking dumb. And then we would play, uh, we would play Nintendo 64 games on it. We'd play fucking... Uh... I'm fucking blanking. Goldeneye on it. And we'd play four-way. So it was like literally because it was a projection TV, depending on... You know, it's hard to get four people around a TV to play a game to begin with. But depending on where you were sitting, it's just like, yeah, I can't even see what I'm doing. You had to literally situate everyone based on where their square on the TV was. It was a neat interim step in, in TV tech where it's just like, hey, we can make them really big. It's really stupid technology, though. It's really fucking stupid. That thing was a bitch to move, too. I mean, yeah, we had a cool TV, I guess. But you literally, like, for as big as it was, you couldn't, you couldn't, like, have a bunch of people watching it at once. Let's see if I can get this. How do I even boost off this guy? He doesn't want to get too close to me. Oh, I fucked it up again. Oh, if you don't look at him, he like doesn't come at you. That's interesting. Oh shit. I didn't realize I was fully powered up to crystal pot time. Oh, I get how the I get how the crystal weapon works. Once you don't have enough crystals to support it, I gotta figure out how many crystals that costs. Then it goes away. Ow! Oh! I'm learning. Okay. I don't know. Ten crystals, was it? Interesting. Okay. The joy of learning a new game. Let's 
see if we can melt this guy with this whip. Dodge the glass. Don't get hit by the glass. Oh, I just fucking melted him. Just fucking melted him. Oh, amazing. Okay, so do you get to just keep the laser whip as long as you don't get hit? Yeah, that dog deserved what it got. 100%. Looking like the thing? That dog's fucked up. That dog was fucked up, man. No! My laser whip! This fucking don't get hit to keep your power bullshit. Yeah, it's some super ghouls and ghosts shit right there. Here's a good thing. Never get hit. Also a game I absolutely love. Oh, cool. Those aren't insta-kill spikes. That was a hell of a way to figure that out. Okay, but what I also learned there, too, is if you're jumping forward, your momentum does carry you. So that's definitely the way to get that achievement in the first part for uh, skipping the merman room. That's definitely got to be what it is. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to manipulate the eyeball to actually get it to do what I want. That's going to be the tricky part. I have little faith in myself to figure that out. Today, anyway. Another day. That's like an that's like an off stream Chivo. That's we ain't doing that shit live. And I have no idea how you're supposed to get up there to get that gem. It just taunts me. It just fucking taunts me. Cool, cool. All right. It's getting absolutely getting absolutely dragged here. Oh wait, there's meat here. Fuck it, full of meat. Mr. Morris, here's your, your order of meat. By the time you can keep this weapon, you're good enough to not need this weapon. Yeah, e exactly. Otherwise, it's just like a momentary reprieve from bullshit. That is a one-up. Okay. Six one-ups throughout the game. Who's texting me? I have to decide if I want to take that. <clears throat> that fucking car detailing job. They finally contacted me back, and it's like, eh, maybe. I don't know. It just, like, pays so little, it's like, I don't know. I need to talk to my wife about it and see if she gives me, like, the, no, it's not worth your time. Or if she's like, ah, oh, we should really take it at this point, then I take it. Hey, Bowie, how you doing? Don't know if it's worth it. Could pay the bills for- I mean, yes and no. I mean, if I really figured out a solid door dashing schedule, I could pay the bills that way too. Which I had been, I just backed off the door dashing for a while. Because I had to re-strategize on it a little bit. What it really comes down to for me at this point is that it's like so not enough money that it's like, is it worth grinding away 40 hours of my week, making so little money that it ultimately isn't really making a difference anyway? 
versus just like, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's like, so it would be like 18 bucks an hour, which at, it's like, it's not nothing, but it's also like, it's like, it's so little that it's just like, considering the fact that I can, because here's the thing, is that like when I door dash, I can make anywhere between like 22 lowest per hour up to 30 plus. And like, I can't necessarily get 40 hours a week doing that. But now if, I, if, if I'm getting closer to that $30 an hour, it like suddenly, I, I don't, I, whether, I, you know, it's, it becomes the same is working that 40 hours a week at that shittier job. Granted, I still have expenses for vehicle and stuff, but that also comes with a cost of freedom. 40 hours a week if you make more money door dashing than hell no. I know, that's where I'm at. It's just like, it's like, I don't know. And then like, I'm enjoying doing the day streams too. Because that's all part of building a business that I actually want to build. And, like, if I'm working 40 hours a week, working my ass off cleaning cars, like... I'm going to be too tired to do the other shit, too. And it's like, is it worth it? Is it is $18 an hour worth giving up 40 hours a week? You know, it's like, and, and having to report to someone else and all that other shit. And it's just like... I don't know. It, I feel like I, I feel like it's a smug thing to say, but like I said, it's just like I just don't know if the benefit is there. You know what I mean? Some jobs, it's ridiculous at the pace so little you can't have, uh, not be able to afford to work. Hey, Larpup, how you doing, bud? Wonder if you ought to give DoorDash a closer look yourself. That's more than I would have guessed, though. Well, here's the thing. Here's the caveat. That $30 an hour, that happens during peak times. So, like, you know, if, if let's put it this way. If, if you are the master of your own destiny, if you don't have kids... It's very doable to just be like, cool, I'm just going to go out over all the peak times. And then, you know, you, you can make that shit happen. Did I hear about that second interview? Yeah, I didn't get it inverted. I didn't get it. What they did tell me, though, is that... Um, they're like, hey, there's another position that's more elevated that we're hoping to be able to get the funding to put in place. And they're like, you'd be perfect for that. We would give you first first choice at that if you're still available by the time we pull it together so it's like i got that in my back pocket and that's like a job for a company again i would really like to do versus like this detailing bullshit where it's just like i'm gonna just sink 40 hours i'm gonna sink five days of my week into this be less available to help around the house with the kid like if I'm gonna take a job, and I'm gonna be unavailable to like, just help the family with shit, that should at least pay something. Otherwise, I'd rather just, I guess, have this more chaotic schedule where I'm my own boss. That's what it really comes down to. I wanna be my own boss. And if I'm gonna work for someone, it better damn well be worth, it better damn well be worth it. You know, not not to be smug and unappreciative about this shit, but it's just like, God damn it, I'm 40. What was it I said last week? It's like, the whole shit started out where they're like, here, here's a bowl of piss soup. It's not the best thing, but the main course is going to be better. Main course turned out to be a shit sandwich. I ate half the fucking shit sandwich, pushed it aside, and they're like, oh, you look like you're wrapping up now. Would you like us to wrap this up for you? And I go, no, thank you. And they go, well, for dessert... We have a uh, smegma gelato. Would oh, yeah. you like some what of that? that? It's just like, no, motherfucker. I've eaten enough of this shit at your shitty restaurant. I don't need to have more to know that th this sucks. I was thinking hard about it this weekend, and it's like, 
my wife would not be all in on this, but it's like I'm I'm ready to just destroy my 401k to keep us afloat if I have to. Like I just I just don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. I gotta be honest. Yeah, late night's really good for DoorDash. If you're by a very populous area, a city at all, DoorDash will do well for you. Oh, don't worry about it, Bowie. It's fine. I, I was sad all weekend. I'm over it. But yeah, take the opportunity for that other job opportunity. They say you have potential, so definitely interview some... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's about doing the waiting game. I did that once, but they backed out on you. Yeah. And it's like with this... With this fucking... Uh, car cleaning thing. Again, I just don't know that I want to even... It's sad, but it's like... I remember when I first started working full time out of college, because I was working all full time all, all the fucking time before, anyway. And I made like thirteen fifty an hour. Had just gotten married. Couldn't do shit with thirteen fifty. I got a job working for the company that I was at for the past fifteen. <laughs> I like how that guy jumps in for the past fifteen years. And it was eight. It was eighteen bucks an hour. It was like getting a goddamn promotion. Back in 2008, that was good. That was decent enough money. Between what I was making and what my wife was making, we were comfortable. It was good. But now, that same 18 bucks an hour, that don't do shit. Especially having a kid. It's, it's like it's like no money now. That's the sad state of the, the world. So it's like, to go back to making $18 an hour now, it's just like, why even bother? I'd rather struggle to find ways to make the income and be my own boss, I feel like. You know what I mean? Don't apologize. I hear enough crusty old fucks on TV spamming like that younger generations are just lazy these days. Yeah, and I, it's, it's, that, it's that work ethic that was pounded in me my whole life. That's why I feel guilt. I shouldn't. I shouldn't feel guilt. The smegma gelato recipe is probably crazy, though. Oh, it's insane, man. Not this, not this magma gelatos. It's disgusting. Very difficult to make. Turns out horrible. World is so corrupt now, I can't... Yeah, we need a revolution, for real. You seem like a techie guy. Do you have experience with SharePoint? SharePoint Consulting makes, like, $200 an hour, and it's super easy. I don't have any experience with SharePoint. But, uh... I think I'm gonna look into that now, though. Uh, I am a techie person. I My last job, I actually, I managed a technology support team. We were like, we were like lightweight IT. That was my last gig. Oh, so these guys activate once you hit them. I guess we're, okay, perfect. I heard recently that our governor signed a thing to give employees $20 an hour, but I think it's going to crush small business around here. Like, that sucks, but also, like, fucking good. Like, honest to God, like... That's the shit that's gotta happen, though. That's the shit that's gotta happen, though. Because, like... If your whole business model exists on the pretense that you can't afford to pay people what they actually deserve to live. It's like your business sucks. Your business sucks ass. <laughs> Spent 15 years somewhere, they got bought out and everyone got raises and then a month later they told us they were closing the doors. Amazing. Amazingly horrible. How can you kill this guy? Oh, I know how you could kill this guy. If you had the crystal and you came in here. You could fucking nuke him with the crystal before the fight even starts. So basically, all the achievements, all these crazy achievements, all these special boss kill achievements are all just keep the crystal. Keep the crystal, keep the laser whip. I only had one hit left. Ow. My, my elbow hurts. One of the funnier news stories recently on this 
topic. McDonald's, 28-hour minimum wage in California, and what's-his-face on the news was so comically against it. Yeah. Yep, I remember that one. Yeah, and then I got a raise two weeks before my last day. Amazing. <laughs> Gee, thanks. $20 an hour? What's that, 60K a year? And if you and your wife do it, you make six figures? All the McDonald's wage slaves will end up owning all the franchises in five to ten years. Yeah, no shit. What what is what is what is twenty dollars an hour net you? Let's see, twenty times forty times fifty-two. That nets you forty-one thousand six hundred dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nothing. It's still nothing. That's that's before taxes. Cause then once the tax is clear, it's like only two thirds of that. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Insane. Yeah, the AI can die on a vine. I don't even give a shit about the AI. This shit sucks. Shit fucking sucks. They also asked if I would stay after my termination date to help clear out the building. Offered no incentive. No. Fuckface couldn't even get his math straight when he wanted to rant about it. They never can. They never can. The conservative rant bitches, they never- they never know what the actual numbers are. Twenty dollars an hour still fucking sucks. Like, by the time the fight for fifteen- Why am I buzzing over here? By the time the fight for fifteen gained traction, it was already not enough. It was already comically not enough. Yep. Real winners quit. And that's why even though I texted that woman over the weekend about the car detailing job, I'm probably not going to text her back now that she's like, Oh, just let me know where I can set. This is the bullshit about this, too. Is that, yo, Y&D, the severance plan was just unemployment. Aces. Because, like, it was funny. Because, like, I, I concluded the interview. I'm like, cool, what's next steps? They're like, well, we'll, we'll email you the official application. Uh, your email's on your... Um, Resume you handed us, right? And I'm like, yep, it's right there for you. Great. Didn't hear anything. And then finally last week they 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 texted me because all their other candidates must have been shit. And they're like, hey, are you still interested? And I waited on it because I was waiting to hear back about that last job. And then I go, okay, I'm ready now. I'm available. And then she finally texted me like just like a little bit ago. And it's like, hey, send me your email address and I'll get you the, the application. And it's just like, you have my email address. Like, how disorganized are you? Like, I get it. You're just running a little a little shop where you're fixing up cars that you can sell to people that are desperate, that have shit. And that's the thing, too. It's like the whole operation is like, yeah, we buy these cheap ass cars off of auction. Some of them are trashed out. We fix them up the best we can. And we basically sell to people that are out of, out of money, out of credit, out of options. We're like their last stop to actually get a car. And it's just like, it's not her fault that it's like a scum business. It ain't her business. But it's just like, Jesus Christ, at least get your shit together. Come on. Yeah, I want to hear about it, Rav. Tell me. And now I've been sitting on it, and at first I texted her I was available because I was all sad and feeling pathetic after not getting that last job. And now I've been thinking about it again. It's like, I don't want to fucking... I don't want to sell it like that. I'd rather... I'd rather... I'd rather go out late on weekend nights in DoorDash. I'd rather work five hours on a Saturday night. Until like one in the morning. I'd, I'd rather do that. I'd rather just deal with that shit. Be my own goddamn boss. I'd rather be my own boss. I wanna be my own master. Oh, that's right. Just run. You gotta just run here. We're actually probably not going to make it too much farther, because speaking of being my own master, I need to go door dashing a little bit. How are you even supposed to get up there at those? Those candles are just like a tease. Remember when I told you somebody vandalized something at work with my name? Well, it happened two more times this week. Jesus Christ, dude. 
You got a you got a stalker, man. Does DoorDash have tools to help identify peak hours uh, if you've got the app? Um, no, it's pretty much a live feed. Like, the way that the app looks... I'm going to accidentally dox myself, and I don't care. I just don't give a shit anymore. So, like, the way the app looks... Um, let's see. There should be music on this scene. I don't know why there isn't. But, like, the way the app looks is it kind of looks like this. So each one of those things are zones and the the zones don't necessarily follow like a county or anything, but like, it's just like, I, I don't know how they break apart the zones, but you can see that like over here, you know, it says it's busy where I'm at is right here and it's not busy right now. And so like, there's different levels and like the higher level you are, you can do dash anytime. Otherwise it's just once your zone heats up or the zone you're in, you've driven to heats up, then you can just go dash now. Otherwise you just got to schedule ahead. But I mean, the basic rule of thumb is whenever people normally eat is when it's going to be the busiest. So like that's, that's, that's the jam. That's the jam there. I deliver pizza and make more than I did during the 15 years at that hellhole. Nice, dude. That's good, though. I was told by family friends niece years ago. It was a job about taking calls uh, for, like, plumbing. Okay, sure. I filled everything out, got an interview, went to the interview, then the person... Uh, I got interviewed by the person that took your application. So literally called by a different name twice, even though I told her my name. I was like, this shit is a waste of my time. She took written notes to give to the person who was supposed to interview me. Bullshit, dude. I'll be your personal dasher tech. A hot spot, sweetheart. That's right. Delivered any smegma gelato recently? No, I refuse. Won't eat it either. So you have to guess, predict until you have some seniority to get dibs. And that's the, here's the thing too, is that we every- We are a nation that just recently heard that Saudi Arabia yep. and Russia will we're, 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 we're. Yeah, you're most welcome everybody. I am gonna wrap it up now because I gotta go get the car set up to go, go dash. I got like a little setup I do. Um. Yeah, so like the the biggest thing, Larpup, is that um, don't worry, Wendy. You can catch the vod. I'll have it. It'll be on Twitch for a few weeks, and then it'll be on YouTube as well. Um, it, it, it's different by market. There's no regularity, but the big thing being that you either need to be like if if you're in a city area, more better. You have to be willing to game the system. Don't just accept every offer that comes to you. Um, you want to make sure that you're taking offers that are at least a dollar per mile, if not at least two dollars per mile. Don't take anything less than five bucks, even if it is two dollars per mile, because you still have to factor in, you know, it's less about your time per hour. It's more by mileage, but you have to really think about your time per hour, too. And you don't want to shortchange yourself because you're not getting paid for the time you're waiting at the restaurant. Giant suburbs can be really good for that, too. That's where I'm at. I'm in a giant suburb, so it works pretty okay for me here. Um, and then I would also say, uh, if you're going to mess around with it at all, um, yeah, you want to make sure you don't take shitty offers just to stay busy uh, because you, you wind up screwing yourself over. And it's like that whole balance between trying to keep your acceptance rating high and I don't know. The acceptance rating is a uh, is it, it, it it's there to just fuck you over. Y and D's off to work. That is the fucking. It is. It's all the fucking man. It's all the fucking. Let's find someone to raid into. I'll be back tonight. We're gonna play with more bloodlines. Really liking it so far. Not even minding doing this first part of the game over again. Uh, I'm digging it. I'm really I'm really digging it. This is a really good game. Don't take no shit. That's right. Don't take no shit. Um, and keeping on the vibes of uh, blind game challenges on the Genesis oh, that happened to be on the Genesis today. Let's go raid uh, Knight. He's currently doing Dynamite Hetty. 
Um, first playthrough, no spoilers, no spoilers, don't spoil. You get your ass kicked over there if you do something like that. I'll catch you all tonight. Uh, have a good day.